Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today is a very fast changing world. Like what will happen next, what will happen tomorrow has no relation to what happened in the past. Technology is evolving at a much faster rate and you cannot expect what will happen next or what invention scientists will do tomorrow. You never know that. So same goes for computer science also. Computer science since its invention has been evolving a lot faster rate. People are discovering more and more new features of computer science and new branches of computer science that helps people to solve many kind of difficult problems in this world. So if you're a computer science student or a person who are doing job in IT industries, relying on particular field or relying on particular technology is not going to guarantee your job to stay in the next five years. So in this video, I'll be talking about top three most emerging fields of computer science you can study to get yourself a job ready, not only in this year, but for the upcoming five to 10 years. Now you are not only just a job ready, you'll be having enough potential to do research in those particular fields. So without any further delay, let's start. Okay, so before proceeding, if you want to get these kind of videos regularly, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to instantly notify the ones I upload new videos. Okay, the first field I want to talk about is that AI and machine learning. So this is the really trending field in this today's world and people are mostly fascinated in learning this field and working as a data scientist in IT industry. Now what is AI and what is machine learning and the related terms? So AI or artificial intelligence is a kind of technology that mimic the human intelligence as a perspective of computer. So what does this mean is that you have a computer and you want your computer to perform human action, okay? Like playing games, talking to others, or maybe generating some new ideas, solving some new puzzles or problems that human usually do you want to make sure your computer can do these things. So now what is machine learning? So this is a subset of artificial intelligence. So machine learning has different types of algorithms which interact with the real world data. Like you have a real world data. Now you want your computer to predict something that human usually do, but with a lot of data set, human are not able to do it quickly. But if you develop an algorithm that can quickly solve that prediction problem, that can quickly solve some classification problems, that kind of algorithms comes into the machine learning, okay? Apart from machine learning, there are deep learning, which can hugely rely on neural networks, and there are computer vision, which can take help from machine learning and deep learning to process the image data or the video segments, okay? So like uh, recognizing the face of an image, uh, separating the human object from the image, uh, detecting the object, detecting the age of a human center, reframe the video footage. So these kind of tasks are inside the computer vision. Okay. Now you have NLP like uh, natural language processing, which can process the human speech, which can auto translate from one language to another, which can understand the human speech. So these fields are really popular that come under the artificial intelligence. So if you want to learn these fields in the upcoming years, your chances of getting a job will be really huge and the research opportunities in these fields are really great. Now the second thing if I want to talk about is that cybersecurity and cryptography. Now what is cybersecurity? Now in today's world, we are mostly doing our day-to-day -day task in online. Now let's say we want to send some payment from one position to another. We want to send some communication like message or chat or let's say photos, videos from one place to another. Now, if a person, let's say, sitting in the middle and intercepting that communication, that person can view or generate or extract the important message that are passing through that particular segment. Now, what's the solution? We have to somehow encrypt the message from one place to another so that the receiver can retrieve the message. So these kind of things are coming under cybersecurity. So cybersecurity is not only just encryption and decryption, it can deal with a lot of other tasks like securing the communication channels, securing the internet payments, securing the online banking. Like you recently have known about the fact that Enclave is a special hardware that resides inside the processor and it can encrypt the data that processor process. Now after that you have cache security, you have RAM security. So these kind of security things are generally coming under cybersecurity and this field is really growing faster. 
According to recent studies, there are 28% growth in this field if you consider jobs in cybersecurity. So this is definitely one of the most important field of study you can definitely have to get a job or get your research profile interesting. Okay, so if I talk about the third thing, that is obviously the quantum computing. Now IBM has just recently built their first supercomputer that are made by the circuital quantum computing. Okay, now recently Google and NASA has also published a joint paper that declares the quantum supremacy. The quantum computer has been able to solve a traditional real world problem much faster than our usual supercomputing task. Now if I take an example how powerful a quantum computer is, a quantum computer can solve a task in just few seconds which the supercomputer that we currently have in our modern age can take millions of years. So that's how quantum computing is so powerful. Quantum computing takes qubits, which means the quantum bits as a normal bits that we use in our computer task, but in a different fashion like qubits have two existence simultaneously like 0 and 1, apart from the true and false state. So this is how quantum computing operates and the research facility in quantum computing are huge and a lot of companies are opening jobs in quantum computing like IBM has already opened their job for research in quantum computing. There are other companies also which are conducting research in quantum computing. So if you learn quantum computing in this today's world, the chances of getting a job in the next few years will be huge. So that's it to today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give a like and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. And please make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get instant update once I upload new videos. So stay tuned to my channel. Until the next video, stay happy, stay safe and goodbye.